You were weak when I found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. Darth Vader, to Starkiller. Listen, file info, ensconced on board Vader's incomplete flagship, the Executor, and given the codename, Starkiller. The apprentice repressed all the memories of his previous life and spent the next two decades training as a Sith under Darth Vader's supervision, with the ultimate goal of standing at Vader's side against Palpatine. Darth Vader was not a kind guardian and his brutal training methods bordered on torture. He taught Starkiller to draw on his hate and rage for power, while giving him training in only the basics before forcing the apprentice to develop his own methods through sparring matches and brutal tests. Starkiller was provided with a lightsaber training holodroid, Proxy, who was capable of credibly imitating Jedi and programmed to regularly attack Starkiller with lethal intent to keep him sharp, another brutal training regimen devised by Vader. Despite this, Proxy developed a close relationship with his master, providing the Force adept with enough compassion to stay sane. Despite Vader's cruel treatment, some of the worst horrors Starkiller endured were actually self-inflicted. On one occasion, Starkiller had Proxy chain him immobile in the dark and deprive him of nourishment until he had successfully assembled a lightsaber through telekinesis. While the exercise had been a failure, Starkiller felt it had strengthened him. In meditation, Starkiller took to staring at his ignited lightsaber blade, using the red coloration to make himself think of anger and carnage in order to draw on the dark side of the Force. However, Starkiller remained endlessly frustrated by his inability to experience visions of the future, and as such, any break from usual routine would surprise him. Starkiller took on the role of Vader's personal assassin and enforcer, dispatching problematic individuals throughout the imperial military and government with vicious enthusiasm. Starkiller personally developed into a staunch imperialist, viewing these assassinations as a form of service to the Empire. To this end, Starkiller was provided with a custom-designed ship, the Rogue Shadow, and an Imperial officer assigned to serve as his pilot, for although Starkiller was a skilled pilot in his own right, Vader preferred that his apprentice focus on meditation and other exercises while the enlisted pilot delivered him to his destination. There was evidently a high turnover for such individuals, as they were either killed in the field or executed by Vader. His first pilot was a dour old sergeant who, according to Starkiller, flew the Rogue Shadow like an oil barge. One of his missions with this pilot involved hunting down a treacherous Imperial aide on Malastare who had run up gambling debts. With PROXY's help, Starkiller infiltrated the aide's security installation in Port Pixelito, and crawled through the ventilation ducts to his target's private chambers. Starkiller then force choked the aide while he was working at his desk. The sergeant was later executed for tardiness. Another mission took him to Duro, where the local Imperial despot had grown overly ambitious. Starkiller developed an unending dislike for all-terrain scout transports during the mission. When engaging Vader in a sparring match in 3 BBY, Starkiller expected it to be business as usual afterward. However at the end of it, Vader ordered Starkiller to kneel before him. Believing that his time had come to an end, Starkiller obeyed and waited for death. Instead, Darth Vader formally, knighted, Starkiller, officially recognizing him for the first time as his apprentice something that Starkiller always believed himself to be. He declared Starkiller's training complete and dispatched him on his first test. The surviving Jedi Master Ram Kota was attacking an Imperial shipyard above Nar Shaddaa. In response, Vader ordered Starkiller to kill Kota and to bring the Jedi's lightsaber back as proof of Kota's death. Vader also left Starkiller with orders to leave no witnesses by killing everyone on the shipyard including the Imperial troops, an order the Imperialist Starkiller found disturbing. But not wishing to displease his master, Starkiller was quick to hide his reluctance and voiced his compliance, convincing himself that it was just another stepping stone to achieving his Sith destiny. On his way out to his ship, Starkiller was ambushed by Proxy, who was using his Obi-Wan Kenobi combat module. Starkiller quickly defeated Proxy, though he expressed surprise at PROXY's use of such an old module, one he thought erased. As they approached the Rogue Shadow, Starkiller awkwardly met with his new pilot, Juno Eclipse. The main reason for Starkiller's surprise was that he had never had a female pilot before, and he afterwards became convinced that it was some sort of test from Vader. 